Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Bar brought to you by Mike Bjork. And happy Friday. It's January 25th here. Um, be, due to the government shutdown, the items that were supposed to be released uh, for, on the economic calendar w will be delayed. So once the government finally opens, uh, I'm sure they're going to have a plethora of a uh, lot of data to be released. So uh, with that in mind, we'll just jump over to headline news because that's obviously what we're going to be, what's going to be driving the markets today. And the stock market is up quite a bit. Dow was kind of moving upwards. It was at, at last point of seeing that it was up about 300 so far this morning and still climbing. We'll have to kind of see uh, what the peak is, but uh, it was moving quite well. They were feeling pretty, really good about earnings reports here. And then on top of it, a little icing on the cake was there's been, there were quite a few uh, upbeat management calls here uh, where you know a lot of uh, upper management were stating that they think the 2019 is going to be a good year for them. So they're feeling pretty good about where things are going. Uh, on the other news, we got some Chinese, uh, more Chinese stimulus. Uh, the, the, the federal, federal you know, the, bank, the federal bank over there is basically going to release about $37 billion to the other banks to try to get more cash infusion into their economy to try to stimulate it. And then last but not least, uh, there's a report coming out of CNN uh, that uh, the president is drafting a national emergency order for the wall and allocating about $7 billion, so obviously a higher than what he's asking from Congress. And we'll have to kind of wait and see if that if they're saying truth to it or, you know, again, they're saying the key word there could be draft and maybe he's having it ready in case that's the route he goes. But in any case, uh, take politics aside, uh, we feel bad for the federal employees that are on furlough, not getting paid. You know, uh, a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck, and it's obviously quite tough for a lot of families. So we, you know, are, um, we hope that uh, they, we, we hope for the best for those folks. You know, uh, to be up, be uh, to be kind of caught in the middle of the politics. So let's kind of move this forward to see how uh, bonds are uh, playing here. Uh, right now we got the 25-day moving average as it's moving upwards, is creating a double ceiling here. So it's going to be a little tougher. And as you can see here, uh, we were above it uh, yesterday as we closed. But today we're uh, opening up below it. Right now we're down about eight basis points uh, from when we left off yesterday. Not quite enough to make a change for pricing, uh, but pretty close. Uh, and then on top of it, like I said, it's going to be a double ceiling. So that could be a little bit more difficult to break above here. Uh, and as you can see, we're kind of almost almost looking like we could potentially have a reversal or it's kind of deciding if we're going to reverse or not uh, as we've been kind of going the sideways pattern for about almost two weeks here. Uh, playing playing out here and trying to decide which way to go and so it's trying to have that big stimulus at one way or the other and uh, downside could be the could be there but on the other hand we got the uh, Treasury here fighting its 25 day moving average which broke below it yesterday and now it's breaking above it so we're seeing about 2.75 but this uh, its 25 day moving average has been keeping a pretty good uh, uh, ceiling or top resistance against it so we'll have to kind of see if that can hold or if it uh, breaks at some point here. Uh, again, rates are about the same as where we left off. There's, you shouldn't see really any changes in pricing. Uh, but if anything changes, I'll put it on Twitter. So go ahead and follow me there if you want to have any updates uh, during the daytime as I will put it on Twitter. You guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.